All right, welcome to AE Helps IELTS test preparation videos. Um, in these uh, videos, we're going to be talking about the IELTS listening uh, section. Um, <clears throat> now that we've covered the uh, key strategies, um, we can apply these to the different parts of the listening section and then look at also some more specific skills for different types of questions that you will see. Um, for these videos, uh, we're going to be using AE Helps um, IELTS Test Preparation Curriculum Book and uh, we're going to look at um, Test 1. So at this time, uh, you should print the listening uh, section of Test 1 which goes from um, page 80 to page 89. Again, that's in the curriculum book. And also very importantly, you need to print the transcripts um, for um, test one listening section. The transcripts are the um, written part of um, the dialogue that the speakers are saying. And you're going to find that um, from pages 178 to 187. So again, um, before you start watching these videos, uh, print uh, page 80 to 89 of the curriculum book and 178 to 187 of the curriculum book. Okay, so again, um, these are the uh, listening section videos. And um, <clears throat> In these videos, I'm going to teach you uh, a few different kinds of uh, skills and practice that you should do before the IELTS exam to improve your um, score. The first thing that we're going to look at is um, we're going to look at visualizing uh, information. The second thing that we're going to look at is um, predicting information using critical thinking. Um, the third uh, part that we will look at is note taking for comprehension. Um, and then um, the fourth thing that we're going to look at is um, paraphrasing, again, for comprehension. And then we're going to look fifth at some um, specific um, <clears throat> skills. Um, and uh, uh, notes uh, such as uh, timing, um, <clears throat> instructions, and uh, answers, which includes, of course, spelling. So again, uh, these lessons will be broken into these five parts, visualizing information, predicting, critical thinking, note-taking and comprehension, paraphrasing and comprehension, number five, uh, specific skills and notes, which include timing, instructions, answers, spelling, and then we're going to look at um, a few different kinds of questions, just so you're very clear on uh, how you should be answering those. Okay. So um, first step, let's have a look at uh, part one of the, the uh, questions. Now again, remember that in the IELTS listening, you have time to look at the questions um, before you have to answer. So there's going to be an introduction um, to the listening section and then you will be asked to look at uh, section one of the listening and uh, you will be given some time to review the questions as well as uh, given an example so that you kind of know what you're doing. Um, and uh, it's very important that you use this time well to help you answer correctly. So let's uh, first listen to um, this introduction um, before we uh, look even at uh, how we should predict some questions. 
This recording is copyrighted by Two Think One Solutions Inc. and World ESL Tutors. You will hear several different recordings and you will answer questions on what you hear. There will be time given to read the instructions and questions and you will be given a chance to check your work. The recordings will be played only once. The test is made up of four sections. At the end of the test, you will have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Okay, so during the um, few seconds that you have to review the section questions, um, the first step that you need to do is you need to try to visualize the topic. This will help prepare your brain for the information that's coming. So um, during um, <clears throat> question review time, All right, so again, during this time, the first step that you need to take is visualize the topic. So here, the um, topic is uh, a gym membership. So let's do an example here, uh, gym membership. And this means, of course, to join a gym. So what we want to do here is we want to visualize everything that's connected to joining a gym. Um, now, most of us have seen some kind of a gym, if not in real life, maybe in the movies. Um, a gym is basically a, a place where people go to exercise. Now, these places have lots of different kinds of equipment and machines, so when we close our eyes, um, we should try to see in our mind um, this large building where we go in. Um, there's uh, going to be a reception. At the reception, um, there will be someone standing there who helps people that go to the gym, maybe checks their membership pass as they enter in. Now, if we close our eyes again, we should see different kinds of machines. So, for example, we see running machines. We see weightlifting um, uh, happening. Maybe some people are lifting weights above their head and so on to get stronger. Um, also, of course, in uh, the gym, people get tired, um, they get thirsty, they get hungry. Um, so uh, there's maybe a snack bar um, or somewhere where we can buy some drinks and some, some snacks for some energy and food. So we need to see all these um, in our mind. Um, maybe there's a place to relax and chat for uh, the members as well. Um, also, it's very likely there's a change room with showers and so on to get um, freshened up. So again, um, you should see the reception, um, uh, uh, weightlifting equipment, um, such as dumbbells, Dumbbells are the things that we lift like this. Running machines. Uh, maybe a snack bar with um, maybe chocolates and drinks. Um, you should see a uh, change room perhaps a water fountain. Uh, maybe one more thing that I just remembered as I'm trying to see all of this in my mind. Um, maybe some um, um, fitness clothing. So again, these are all ideas and not just ideas, but pictures that I need to have clearly inside of my head very quickly in the first 10 seconds um, so that uh, my brain is much more prepared for the information. Plus look at all the vocabulary um, that's coming into our minds here um, when we visualize, because of course, when we see the pictures, it helps us to remember the words that we learned, which are connected to exercise and weightlifting and a, and a gym membership. So again, visualization is extremely important. Um, it's a very good chance that you're going to uh, see um, these kinds of um, 
words and this information as you're listening. Um, so uh, once you visualize the topic, um, another quick step to take before um, the audio starts is to just use a bit of critical thinking and um, try to predict um, what might be uh, happening in uh, the uh, audio. So let's look at a little bit of the critical thinking and predicting before we listen to the audio uh, now. Okay, so again, um, before you uh, hear the audio, um, just to give you a much better chance to get the correct answers, there's one more um, technique to practice, especially before you get to the IELTS exam, and this is critical listening. So um, this is again um, before the audio, um, practice some uh, critical listening. Um, this basically means that what you need to do is um, <clears throat> ask uh, what, why, how about the topic. Now, um, when you're at home practicing for the IELTS, you should write this down, okay? So make sure you write it down. During the test, you don't have time to write this down, um, but you should try to quickly ask and answer these questions in your mind. Um, so um, we're going to do that uh, for um, the example that we're working with. Um, again, um, we're looking at gym memberships here. So let's ask what, why, how. So um, first, um, what is a gym membership? So um, a gym membership, of course, is um, when we pay uh, for a club so that we can go and work out um, uh, when we would like for a month, two months, a half a year, or a year. Um, so it is uh, becoming a part of a fitness center by paying a uh, fee. Okay, so then of course the second question is why? Why do people join a gym? So um, <clears throat> why do uh, we join a gym? Um, and uh, of course the answer here is because usually we like to um, stay in good shape, stay fit, stay healthy, um, maybe uh, release um, some stress, it's a hobby. Um, it's a good opportunity to socialize. So again, all of these answers start to come into our mind when we ask these questions. Remember, there is no question that's too simple. So just ask the question and answer clearly. So why do we join a gym? To stay fit or healthy, um, <clears throat> release stress, Um, and even to socialize. Socialize means to uh, meet some uh, new friends or some, some new people. Okay, and then of course a very important question, and this is extremely important for 
the listening uh, section is the how. So the question here is how do we join a gym? Um, <clears throat> So how do we join a gym? Well, we usually go in, we talk to someone who represents the gym, usually at the reception. Uh, we have to fill out a form, um, maybe ask some questions, um, pay some money, and then, um, of course, we uh, can start uh, our workout. So um, how do we join a gym? Um, talk to a receptionist. give personal information. Now, what kind of personal information do we give? Well, we give our personal information such as the address, uh, phone number, um, and so on. Um, and then we choose some kind of plan um, so we might choose to work out for one month in the beginning or half a year or a full year. Usually um, the longer membership you buy, the cheaper it is. And again, all of this kind of information starts to come to our mind and you'll see that it's very important um, and you'll hear a lot of this in this example. So um, choose membership type uh, and pay. Okay, so again, remember to practice both of the skills of visualizing and uh, critical thinking for listening sections, especially at home, so that when you sit the IELTS exam, you can do this much faster, and it's going to really help to increase your score. Um, so in this example, we've done this. Uh, now that we uh, have a more clear idea and we can kind of predict or guess what this will be about, um, let's listen um, to uh, section one of the listening. So have your uh, paper in front of you. You should be looking at pages 80, 81, 82 um, of the curriculum book. Um, and uh, now we will listen and look at the questions. You can answer the questions if you'd like, but it's not necessary at this time. Um, it's just uh, important to listen and see how the information you hear is connected to what we just did. So let's look and listen. This lesson and materials was taken from AE Help's IELTS test preparation material. To see more videos like this and use interactive materials for the IELTS, visit us at www.aehelp.com and let us help you quickly improve your score for the IELTS exam.